Hey guys, how's it going? Onich here. Welcome to a new league race video. This time we are around the Nürburgring and as you can see it's pouring down. Um, the rain is pouring down. Um, obviously you cannot really see this as the uh, ARL Apex Racing League leaks anymore or um, league races anymore because ARL pretty much died. I think a lot of you will know that uh, because I uploaded a video. So we will just call it a league race I guess. Um, Alex is right now the one who uh, basically is running it, um, but that's enough about uh, ARL, I mean uh, it's still the league races we still have the same people, even though some people aren't in this lobby, one of them is Barcelona, he's not here, and a few others as well, um, Romian isn't here, who's Alex's teammate, he's not here, um, but anyway we are done uh, in qualifying and this is actually my, uh, my final run. And right now I'm down P10, so not a great qualifying for me so far. Um, it's pouring down with rain, it's full wet, so it's not even intermediate um, conditions, it just, uh, it's just full wet. Um, but I can tell you that uh, I can improve on my lap, definitely. I had um, the lap uh, you see now, the 138.7, that's my best lap, but I did it in my first run. Um, and that lap was pretty bad, I'm sure I can improve on that and in the second stint, my second run, I was over a second quicker in the middle sector but um, I was actually purple then as well, so fastest of everyone but I decided to come back into the pits because I thought that that lap wasn't really good and I still could you know, have done better so that's why I returned into the pits to do another lap and that lap uh, is the lap that you will see very soon uh, right now it's Alex in pole position with a 137.0, so he's over 1.7 seconds faster than me. But don't worry, this is not my fastest lap, so... Let's see what we can do. I have set up my uh, my setup for the race a little bit, but I'll come, uh, come to that uh, very soon. I'll tell you a little bit about that very soon, but not now, because now we will have the qualifying lap. So here we go then. Full wet tires, it's pouring down with rain, and there we go then crossing the line for the start of my qualifying lap. Obviously on the rich mixture for this first sector which is a very tricky first sector. You want to get the first corner right, you want to get close to the apex than that I was there actually. And then this corner is very difficult, you want to hit the apex a little bit you know, late. Um, I didn't hit the apex there at all because well basically I have a different driving style in the wet. Normally when it's, uh, when it's dry you really want to hit uh, all the apexes in the first sector. But that is a little bit uh, impossible right now. Uh, already 7 tenths up on my uh, on my best lap. But it is green, so not purple. Um, so it's not the uh, fastest, uh, of s fastest sector of the session. Uh, someone gets out of my way there. Uh, so then this very long uh, right-hander. It's a uh, hairpin. It's a little bit cambered. Very tricky to get right. And as you saw, that I was struggling quite a bit for traction on the exit. Which probably cost me a little bit of time. Then this... Uh, Left right chicane is full throttle, no problems whatsoever, break at the 100 meter board, shift down to third gear and then back up to fourth. And then this corner is very important, look what I did here, generating understeer and then oh, get in the gravel there. Um, I was actually purple as you can see, but thanks to that uh, mistake I made there, getting into the gravel, I lost a lot of speed coming onto this straight and getting a lot of speed on that straight is very important. Then this final chicane is very tricky to get right, especially in the rain. Uh, as you can see there again struggling so much for traction Alex improves his lap one more time 136.9 and here we go then we are crossing the line I don't know if it's going to be any faster it is going to be faster than my previous best obviously it was a 137.4 at the end of the day half a second f slower than Alex and it puts me up in the third place so behind Kifla as well good qualifying from Kifla only two tenths separated uh, between him and Alex but obviously my lap uh, I was purple at the end of the second sector which meant that I was fastest but unfortunately I made that mistake I generated quite a bit of understeer took too much speed into that uh, right hander which goes downhill a little bit and um, then got into the gravel which cost me a lot of time uh, for the straight and I definitely lost a few tens there but there we go then third place the race there was like 62% uh, chance of rain um, but it's dry uh, it's dry right now so here we go then we are starting on the prime tire um, 
and I chose my setup to you know be a little bit more um, better for the race. Uh, Victor, if you're watching right now, uh, Victor, you're, he is the one that helped me a little bit with the setup. He gave me a few tips and uh, a little bit of advice on how to create a setup for the race. So I am I'm taking a little bit of a different approach uh, to the races now. I want to make a setup that's good for the race because the points will be divided in the race and not in the qualifying. So here we go then on the start um, on the grid. I'm on the prime tire. Alex is on soft and so is Kifla. He's on uh, both are on the option tires and the lights are out right now. So there we go then. Quite a poor start. Uh, Kifla, look on the right hand side. Whoa. He has had a very good start as Grunu is looking on my inside a little bit there. Breaking quite late for the first corner going on ar around the outside of Kifla. Can I take it? I take him around the outside of the first corner. Quite a nice move if I have to say myself. And up to P2 now. Very wide there. Uh, obviously a lot of fuel on board and still on those prime tires I think the um, guys on option uh, options will have an uh, advantage over me right now in the first couple of laps uh, but after three or four laps the option tires will start to wear out and then my prime tires will be in a better shape than them um, already a second down on uh, Alex but luckily managed to overtake Kifla then at the start around the outside um, of him in the first corner he luckily gave me quite a bit of room um, so fair racing there so right now I'm on prime tires and thinking right now well it will be very good if I can uh, stick with Alex right now but I didn't you know really expect that um, to be happening because the prime tires obviously they are slower in the first couple of laps uh, 8 tenths to Alex uh, 6 tenths to Kifla behind let's see you know if uh, Alex can pull away from me on those option tires Here we go, that first lap completed. And there we go, the cap to Alex. 9 tenths. To Kifla it is 4 tenths. So we have to keep an eye out on uh, Kifla. And this is also a strategy that I use for this race quite a few times. I'm going to lean for the first sector. And then go to mix 2 for the um, for the other sectors. And run mix, uh, mix 3. In the, um, in the final sector on the straight. You will see that very soon. So I'm still in mix 1 then. And shifting up to mix 2 now. For the rest of the lap. Although I will switch again to mix 3. Um, at the long straight. Um, in the third sector. Which you will see very soon in this lap. So 8 tenths to Alex. It seems like I can stick actually with him. Uh, didn't expect that. But obviously very happy. If I can stay with within one second of him. I will obviously get DRS. DRS will be enabled in lap, uh, lap 3. But also we have Kifla behind. It seems like he is also less than a second behind us. So we have to look uh, forward but also backward uh, because of Kifla. And I knew before the race that I had to be on the attack here. Obviously I started from uh, from P3. And I knew I had to attack. So here we go then mi uh, mix 3 for this trade. As I said before. And then going to mix 2 again. So that's my strategy in terms of fuel. So take the, the, that final chicane very aggressive. I think that's the way you should take it. Be very aggressive in the final chicane. Uh, as Alex goes a little bit wide here. And that allows me to have a very good exit. And right up in the slipstream. The gap is only 4 tenths right now. So get a couple of tenths in the final sector. Uh, 1.4 to Kifla. So he dropped back a little bit. It seems like the option tires are already starting to wear out. And look at that. I'm actually very close to Alex. Going to have a little bit of a look on his inside here. But no. Doesn't make him nervous or anything. It just keeps his line and I had to back out of it obviously cannot uh, smash into him but you know just just looking on this inside just letting him know that I'm watching and um, you know waiting for him to make a mistake in order to pass him so four tens and Kifla closed up a little bit obviously because uh, Alex and me were battling a little bit so I should be able to have DRS if I can stay within one second of him uh, DRS is quite powerful I think on this track so I'm right now in a very good shape starting on those prime tires and you know it could be an advantage when the rain comes um, after the option tires already have um, option runners the people who are on option when they make a stop and it rains then I have another you know I didn't stop um, as I went into the gravel there look at that cost me a lot of time that's the same mistake I did in qualifying. I do it again here and look, 
cost me a lot of time unfortunately I did get the arrest though um, and again very aggressive in that final sector do I still have the DRS on Alex for the for this trade we have two DRS zones here uh, this is another DRS zone I do have DRS so that's good seven tenths to Alex and going to mix one again so what I wanted to say you know if if the option uh, runners are going to pit in lap 4 or 5 and it rains or, or the, it go it's going to rain in lap 6 they have already made a pit stop while I haven't made a single pit stop yet so it could be in my advantage when it rains um, after they have done their pit stop and oh I saw actually their uh, drop of rain I think so I think it's already starting to rain a little bit just a few drops not a lot though um, definitely not enough to switch to winters already um, obviously you can see here it's still dry but definitely it's starting to get cloudy right now but let's see then how this battle develops between me and Alex obviously Kevlar is still behind but he seems to be you know, fairly consistent but not quick enough to really keep up with us as I go to mix 3 now want to stay close to Alex uh, before the DRS zone and try to pass him then so this is what I mean this is very close and I think we're ready to overtake him if I can stay this close out of this corner make no mistakes this time I do make mo no mistakes but I got a little bit of understeer because of the dirty air but that's okay in the DRS then DRS zone DRS activated and around the outside for this happen that's not going to work I let Alex through here in order to get a better exit which I do have indeed and oh there's contact there's contact with Alex and there we go that that's a penalty for me there we go switching to mix, mix one then that's my fault completely my fault and we're going to let Alex through because it's not fair to pass him. Um, there we go, straight again on the attack once I uh, let him pass. But I can tell you what happened there. It was a very unlucky accident in my opinion. Um, obviously, I knew that side by side going uh, into that, um, into the what's it called, into the chicane wasn't going to work, and he had the inside line, so I had to, you know, let him go there. But then I had a much better exit than him, and it actually surprised me quite a bit how, you know what the line that Alex took through that chicane it surprised me a lot because uh, he had a very bad exit didn't expect that and just simply hit him from behind and um, you know in my opinion the car who hits another car from behind is the one who is at fault so I had to give that place back and it drops me back to P5 uh, chicane is in P6 I actually forgot to mention him he was starting from P11 so he made up quite a few positions he's starting on the primes as well so it's looking very good for for him but yeah as you can see that's actually starting to rain now I think the car uh, it was my fault there because I was the car who uh, you know who came from behind but still let's forget that and continue to focus on this race I'm on the outside for of uh, for this corner around the outside of Alex can I take him can I keep this I can keep the place there and well we actually got past him there then around the outside to be honest I felt a little bit guilty right now um, obviously taking him, him out there um, I got a penalty for that but I let him through so that penalty will be removed uh, after the race because I let him through again uh, obviously Alex's option tires they were starting to wear quite a bit so he had he hadn't really you know he didn't really have a lot of grip and that's why I went around the outside quite easily um, normally you cannot really overtake around the outside there I think but this time it was possible thanks to the um, tire wear issues that Alex is suffering from now definitely yes yes more tire wear than me because I am on the prime tire but again I felt a little bit guilty taking him out and then overtaking back again I think it was just a very unlucky accident um, he had quite a poor exit and couldn't really avoid him then anymore no these things happen and you just have got to forget them and uh, continue on with the race so P4 then, Alex P5, and we have Fed first in front of me, and in front of Fed first it is Grenou who is in second place. So Grenou is doing an awesome job. Obviously these guys passed, up, passed us when um, uh, when I let Alex through. Uh, Kevlar is then in the lead right now with quite a big gap over Grenou, and it seems like Fed first and Grenou are ca battling quite a bit as Grenou goes well wide there, way off the track, and he will have a poor exit probably out of this corner yeah he didn't have a poor exit indeed and he hasn't got DRS and we do have DRS on him so using curse and DRS again on the outside same same situation as with Alex a still side by side so he actually leaves me room there and I take him there side by side through the chicane whoa and look in the mirror Alex and Grunu both went to the into the pits so 
I can explain you why I actually did go side by side with Grunou for that corner and not with Alex. Um, because Alex played later than me, I think it was. And I was um, basically Alex, he was um, further alongside me uh, than Grunou. Um, and Grunou left a lot of room. So I think I was um, I was more in front of Grunou when we braked for the corner than I was uh, with Alex, if you get what I mean. So we skipped to lap 9 and um, as you can see it's starting to rain quite a bit right now um, and remember I haven't pitted yet uh, and Grunou in front he started on the option tires and he's still going with 9 laps old option tires so he has no grip whatsoever and he basically had to give uh, give away his first position to Fat First. So Fat First is right now leading, Jack First is behind me. Uh, look at the grip that Kivla is getting, he's, he's getting almost no grip whatsoever and this should be a pretty easy pass I presume. As you can see it's qu raining quite a bit so we have to take it very easy as Kivla went well wide and I did have a better exit side by side again um, but it seems like he backed out of it so there we go. Passed him then quite easily thanks to his uh, you know worn option tires. I think Fatverse must be on prime I think because he has quite a good pace. Um, obviously want to be careful right now it's raining quite a bit actually and we are still on uh, on the dry tires 3.5 to fat first so he has quite a big lead over me uh, I would say um, but I'm going to pit this lap there's no way you can continue right now on these dry tires it's quite wet um, but oh look look in front I think it's fat first who is actually continuing he is indeed uh, I'm coming into the pits same does um, same situation for Kifla and there we go and select in intermediate tires um, and this is is very good for me uh, obviously Alex and who was it Alex and Grunou I think they have made their pit stop already and I haven't done the pit stop yet so basically I am one pit stop ahead of them uh, because they they have done two stops right now one stop for the um, uh, from you know when they s had to switch off the uh, option tires and another stop for the inter tires and I have done only one stop which was for the inter tires right now so we're joining the track then on these inter tires they feel pretty good um, quite a good grip nothing wrong so it's Kifla right now then behind me obviously yeah I was struggling quite a bit with his tires and keep the gap in mind uh, for me to check first it is 17.3 seconds and to be honest I think fat first is fucked right now because um, well, it's raining quite a bit. It's you can see there are uh, raindrops on the screen as well right now. So I think it's too wet right now for the um, for the dry tire. So I think I made the right call. Same for Kifla. He obviously went to the pits as well. And um, yeah, very happy with that call. Was a good call, I think. And um, look on the mini map, you you could see Fat first his uh, his car basically driving there. I think he's fucked. Uh, indeed 8.7 seconds almost gained 10 seconds in that middle sector uh, on him and all thanks to the rain oh quite aggressive there as you can see so that you, you can see on the minimap right now fat first is coming in but his race is pretty much destroyed right now he lost 10 seconds in that uh, middle sector which is a very shame for him obviously this is home race so he wanted to to, uh, to perform well and this is not uh, you know the best situation for him for for him uh, 4.7 to Kifla I think he has dropped back from me uh, in the in the last lap quite a bit actually he was quite close to me but the gap has uh, extended to 4.7 second and uh, look who is in P3 she gained my teammate amazing job from him he's on the inter tires right now as well he came from P11 um, all the way up to P3 right now and I think he has Alex behind him so Alex he did one stop more uh, but he is in P4. There we go, then she gained 5 seconds behind Kifla. Kifla is uh, 4 seconds behind me. As you can see, it's raining quite hard actually. But it's not hard enough, I would say, to switch to the full wet yet. Maybe later on in this race, I don't know. But you can see that they give quite a quite a good amount of grip, so no worries whatsoever at this stage. As it went a little bit wider, very close to uh, hit the, hitting the gravel. 
It was 4 seconds to get to Kifla, it is now 4.7, so gained around 7 tenths in that middle sector. Again, taking that chicane quite aggressive. And this corner is quite tricky actually, the final corner. Um, Alex moved himself up to P3 by the way, he passed uh, chicane. That final corner is quite tricky actually, you want to get, um, you want to stay close to the apex and the corner is, is a little bit longer than you would expect. You expect it to get it on the fr throttle quite early, without any problems, um, but when you press the uh, throttle too early you will end up very wide and uh, you have a big chance of hitting the gravel. So, that corner is more difficult than you would expect actually. Uh, we skip to lap 13, uh, ending off lap 12. And you can see right now that I'm struggling quite a little bit for grip. Bit of oversteer on the exit there. And uh, my lap time was 2.4 seconds slower than uh, what I did before. So this is pretty much a sign that it is right now ready to go to the wet tires, I think. Uh, let's see what the grip levels are. Well, they are definitely not great. A lot of understeer there. And you can see uh, also quite a bit of oversteer. Um, the gap to Kifla. By the way, uh, it extended to 5.3 seconds, and Shikane is pretty much holding on to uh, to fourth place. But you could see on the minimap, I think there was a car in the gravel, and it could have well been Shikane. Um, not sure though, it might have been Shikane. But anyway, I knew that he dropped back to P9 eventually, or P8 something around there. So maybe he made a mistake. Maybe he was in the gravel indeed. Um, unfortunately, because he was doing quite well. Uh, Cap to uh, Kifla, 6.2 seconds, so still extending. And you could see a single to go on the right hand side on of the screen. You can see the tire temperatures and the rear tires were getting quite cold. So these tires aren't, there you can see it again. These tires aren't, you know, the best tire for this situation. So we have to go to full wets at the end of this lap. No doubt about it. Um, 3.5 seconds slower than my previous lap. Yep, this, um, this is ready for wet tires. So going to pit this lap and braking very careful for the chicane lots of understeer here didn't want to cut the chicane so I just you know went completely over the throttle or, or over the curb um, struggling there for exit speed and lots of understeer here definitely ready for uh, wet tires so here we go then coming in and selecting the wet tires so I think pretty much everyone went in went in right now just too wet to uh, continue on these inter tires so there we go into the pits it doesn't seem like we will get held up no nope, we won't get held up so that's good news for me 3.1 seconds pit stop by the um, by the mercedes boys the merc and we rejoin the track back in first place so it does seem like everyone pitted for wet tires and quite a big gap to kifla somehow and look at the steering inputs here Look at the steering inputs right now. You can see they're trying to, to get the front end to uh, grip very easy or very difficult I should say in these um, these conditions to get the front end to grip and uh, you know let it go where you wanna go you know let the car go where you wanna go. Um, it's quite tricky. Uh, Captain Kifla 8.2 so he might have been held up into the pits or something because he lost about 4 seconds on me. Um, this is quite a bit, uh, quite a bit, uh, 6.8 seconds, the gap between Kifla and Alex, so it seems like uh, we should be focusing more on Kifla than on Alex, but obviously with one mistake, uh, you know, your lead can be gone and you could end up in like 4th place, so you should keep keep your focus, as I get quite a bit of understeer actually for the corner, I have to shift down to 3rd uh, gear. And just about halfway through the race and 8.7 to Kifla. Also, I can tell you right now that um, we have done a session before this actually uh, with, you know, with everyone. Um, pretty much we did a qualifying. I was on pole position and I was leading the race until it was like lap 4. And then basically everyone disconnected from the, uh, from the lobby. So we had to start over again. And... Um, yeah, that is what you're seeing right now. So we actually had a little bit of a race before this one. Um, but we only did four laps before everyone got disconnected and we had to restart everything. Look at that. Trying to get the car 
grip. Um, trying to let the car grip. Um, so skipping now a couple of laps ahead actually. Lap 18. Uh, beginning of lap 19 right now. And the gap to Kivla. Let's see what it is. It was around 8 seconds before. And it is right now. 7.7. .7, so pretty much the gap uh, maintained the same. But I can tell you now that... Um, that I haven't been easy on these tires, especially the rear tires, as the gap to Alex and Kevlar is 10 seconds, so it seems like Alex um, has lost a little bit of time to Kevlar. Five minutes, and then the rain will ease up a bit as the uh, engineer is telling us. So that should be good, um, because, um, well, I think these tires won't really last very much longer. As you can see, 7 seconds to Kifla, so he made up around 7 tenths in that first sector. I can tell you that I cooked up my rear tires a little bit. Um, these tires aren't giving me a lot of grip right now. Um, I hope that you will see the tire wear you know, graphic soon on the right hand side of the screen. There you see it. Quite worn. Could be worse, but I think Kifla's tires are in a little bit better shape. Not sure though. Um, but I do think so because I uh, was pretty aggressive on them and basically I'm losing a lot of grip right now and you will see that as well in the gap to Kifla me and Nala 7 tens in that middle sector Ooh, this is not good for me losing a lot of time so I have to do something about it but I cannot really do something about it with these tires um, all I knew right now is that I had to get of uh, a gap of six seconds um, which is still quite big so I was like just take it easy drive a little bit slow obviously you have to stay cool in these uh, conditions and I uh, I basically did a little bit you know was a little bit more easy on the tires and we skipped to lap 22 and as you can see the sky it brightened up a lot um, and the gap to Kifla is 5.2 so actually he only gained like what eight tenths on me in the last what is it three laps I think so it's not too bad and luckily I managed to uh, maintain a good pace but I'm struggling right now as you can see it's I think yes yes all right um, as you can see struggling quite a bit right now actually for grip um, I think it's ready for into tires. Uh, you can see also the sky is much brighter than before. Um, I think it's ready for into tires uh, right now. And <laughs> look who is in P3. It is Fago's pirate, uh, Justin. Uh, okay, he is not anymore in P3. <laughs> but um, he was in P3, so Fago's pirate is doing a very solid job right now uh, this race. He showed up in P3, he is again in P3, so it seems like he and Alex have a quite a bit of a battle right now. Um, so that's good, I hope that they have a good battle. And it's good to uh, see Vegas Pirate in the podium places. Let's see if he can maintain that, uh, although he has a gap of 40 seconds to Kifla, but that gap is glitched. So uh, don't worry, the gaps uh, between drivers, or between, you know, Vegas Pirate and another driver, they are glitched, so they are not right. It's probably around 15 seconds, I would say. Um, so coming into the pits now, the gap to Kivla and me was 4 seconds, so he managed to gain another couple of tenths on this lap, uh, in this lap, on me, and selecting the intermediate tires then, so it seems like we should be able to, you know, finish the uh, the race with these tires, um, and again, I think I don't get held up, oh I do actually, I got held up there, unfortunately, lost me around a second, so that must be like then, what, I think, you know, taking that four seconds that we had before on Kifla and then uh, you know obviously with that one second it should be around three seconds right now um, so we might have a very you know very intense battle at, um, at the final couple of laps in our hands because I definitely do not want to give this first position array away definitely not um, and you can see here it's actually I don't know it seems like a little bit too wet for these tires um, at the moment as you can see my engineer is also telling me that I have to pit for the uh, wet compound as the gap to, the gap to uh, Kifla is actually 4.3 seconds so it's not too bad and Jackverse is, uh, is right now in P3 don't know how we managed to do that 7 laps to go in this race 
and definitely is looking very good I think um, Kiflas had the pace over me a little bit so he was a little bit faster than me obviously you managed to close down the gap from uh, what was it like eight or nine seconds to around four seconds which it is uh, which it is right now let's look again the gap before was 4.2 the gap now is 4.5 so I gained another three tenths in that middle sector so it's looking very good right now as you can see that you can see the helicopter in the sky good uh, good detail of the game so look on the right hand side you can see the tire pressures uh, not the pressures the tire temperatures are not matching the, uh, the situation um, so it's pretty you know it, it's I think it's better to run the, uh, the wet tires at that stage but the lap later it was already fine so skipping then to lap 28 and the beginning of lap 29 and you can see on the minimap there are two cars behind me one of them is a back marker and one of them is Kifla and look at the gap to Kifla just two seconds so he managed to gain about two seconds on me in the last final or the last five laps and oh there's a bullet Whoa, there was a bollard on the circuit laying there. Uh, someone knocked down the bollard, which was there at the apex of turn one. And it was laying there, and I couldn't avoid it. Went right over it. Did a little bit of a wheelie, but luckily it ended all well. Uh, but definitely not uh, not a good situation or something good if you want to, you know, be faster than someone else. Uh, as I'm pushing a little bit more right now. 1.8 to Kifla. I have to push. 25 seconds to uh, Kifla and Alex, so between Kifla and Alex, so definitely not. Uh, I think I, I don't expect right now Alex to close down a gap of 25 seconds unless something very weird happens. Um, I can tell you as well that some people right now went for dry tires, which is, in my opinion, just retarded because the track isn't dry at all or dry enough for. Uh, for, ti for dry tires these these intermediates are pretty good as well so why would you uh, switch to the dry tires but anyway 1.1 to Kifla and <laughs> we have around one more lap to go we might have a great battle in our hands here in the final lap if, if Kifla can keep this pace up and uh, I have to do something about it I have to stop him um, so I upped my pace right now a little bit and I knew I had to push for just one more lap keep your concentration uh, let's see, it was 1.1 before, it is right now 1.6, so we gained the half seconds on him, which is quite good. I went to the inside there, or the um, right hand side of the track a little bit, uh, to cool my tires. Um, as someone in front went to the into the gravel, that must be someone who went for dry tires, I think. Um, not sure though. So this first sector then, Kifla has been good throughout this uh, sector, um, or he has been good through the sector throughout the whole race. So I expect him to be good again here. 1.6 seconds before. And it is now 1.5. So he gained only a tenth. If I can stay concentrated right now. Make no mistakes. I think we should be good for the win. But anything can still happen. It's the final lap of the race. But anything can still happen. Um, you have to keep your focus. And stay concentrated. So getting slowly on the throttle. Don't want to generate too much wheel spin. Luckily these Inter tires were able to. Uh, you know to get to the end of the race without uh, you know needing an extra pit stop uh, just taking it home right now 1.1 he gained another half a tenth or half a second on me but doesn't seem like it will be enough just you know take it safe right now as you can see here very 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 uh, careful right there don't want to crash out right now or lock up my wheels so one more corner to go there we go crossing the line right now to take home a victory on the Nürburgring and at the end of the day you can see me here being in second uh, because of that 10 place uh, or the 10 second penalty and Alex as well he got a 10 place or 10 second penalty as well but uh, I can tell you that both penalties have been removed I think uh, at least my penalty has been removed for sure and um, I think Alex's penalty will be removed as well. I think uh, Alex had that penalty with his in his battle with uh, Vago Pirate. Not sure though. But here you can see Kifla being happy, and of course he has the right to be happy because he uh, he uh, had a very strong race, um, no doubt about it. He was very strong. Um, the gap 
between him and me in the end was only like one second so you had to stay cool um or i had to stay cool um in order to you know keep first and take home a victory um i think i did the fast lap of the race uh 141.2 indeed um but obviously we i had i uh, i did that time in the first couple of laps when it was uh, dry uh, so taking home 25 points then alex in p3 so kiflam managed to split us um that means i gained 10 points on alex in the championship and that means that i am right now 13 points ahead uh, of alex in the uh, in the championship um so that is quite good um yeah just a little bit of a debrief after the race um obviously i went for the prime tires then very good choice um you know looking in hindsight uh, in hindsight um, you know saying it now it, it was a good choice um, obviously I, I took out Alex a little bit gave back the place uh, luckily Alex he didn't you know he wasn't really you know too much angry about it or anything he um, he pretty much accepted accepted it because I gave back the place um, so I was happy with that uh, I think it was just a racing incident very lucky I think um, Maybe should have used my brain a little bit more there. Uh, maybe should have seen coming that he would have such a bad exit. But ah, at the end of the day, I think I gave back the place. And um, yeah, it was just a race where you had to, you know, keep yourself uh, focused with the rain. And uh, you had to, you know, stay cool a little bit. And I had to be on the attack for this race after being uh, in P3 um, in a qualifying. So, you know. You, you, I had to, uh, you know, attack in this race. Um, so I guess that's pretty much it. Um, very good race from uh, Kifla, putting some pressure on me, uh, but uh, luckily didn't make any mistakes, so I could take home a, a victory. Next race will be the uh, Hungaro Ring at Hungary. Uh, it's a track which I uh, enjoy very much. I really like the track. It's uh, it's quite Mickey Mouse, uh, quite twisty. Uh, but but I seem to enjoy it. A lot of drivers seem to hate it like a lot. Uh, but I, I I like it pretty much actually. Uh, so yeah, I look forward to that race. Um, obviously, it isn't ARL anymore, Apex Racing League. But it is still you know the league races and still the same people who were involved in uh, in ARL. So thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching once again. Once again. And uh, goodbye.